Dann geht's schnell. Well, Christmas is coming, or maybe it's here. If it's not, just be glad that it's near. Oh man, are you really gonna rhyme throughout this video? Now I'm gonna have to rhyme too! In this video. That wasn't a real rhyme, but I'll accept it this time. Anyway, since it's December, I'll show you a game that you'll hope you won't remember. Well, maybe it's not that bad, but if you don't have it, you'll still be glad. You know that feeling when you wear those uncomfortable tights? Well, that's the feeling you'll get when you play fairy tale fights. Does it really? I mean, you've worn tights? Nah, I just needed something to rhyme with fights. Upon seeing it for the first time, I thought it might be a decent download title, and there might be something to it, but when it was released, it cost quite a bit. Though about two months later, the price dropped dramatically, I thought, maybe it's just another catastrophe. My curiosity got me to buy it anyway, in hopes that it might still be cool, plus I had a violent mind when I was in high school. So now I'm about to show you the gameplay. Though it's not in HD, it won't matter anyway. If you don't know who PlayLogic is, that's because this game was most likely the reason for them going out of business. Gee whiz. Okay, now you just rhyme anything you think of. Shut up, Git. Go back to your... glove. Wait, where's the music? Some memorable tune. I guess the horror started too soon. But, moving on. To the story, I guess. At least that's what it looks like. You know, other than a mess. I know it's cartoony, but it still looks kinda screwy. Apparently this guy has taken over the main character's story. So where's the part where it gets gory? No bloodshed yet, but here we have Jack. It looks like he's taking an egg out of a goose's butt crack. Moving on to Snow White, she's been awoken by that guy. The way he plays music, he clearly didn't even try. And look what that dwarf did, kick Snow White right into the grass. All because that guy played the harp. Man, what an ass. Now this is one fairy tale that I haven't heard of, but from the main character's look, I'd say it wouldn't be one I'd love. People are screaming and running away, but when is the part when I finally get to play? The main characters are sad and headed to some town. Um... I guess they still have a frown. Are you really going to do it that way? I'm trying, okay? The town folk ran past them, looking pretty glad. They saw that that guy was there. The main characters were mad. Now here's the gameplay. Finally, it's here. This is a decent hub world. I really need a beer. Okay, so it does make a difference when it's not in HD. Unless your television is big, it's kind of hard to see. You can choose between four different characters. They all seem pretty good. But, I think I'll just stick with Little Red Riding Hood. I just feel like getting used to the controls, while using Little Red, before going to the levels for the journey ahead. In fact, if your patience has been fully mastered, then you'll get a trophy or achievement called Lazy Bastard. Now that I've shown you that, it's time to move on, to see where things decide to go wrong. So far, it looks pretty lighthearted. For the gameplay, anyway. Looks like a decent place for a character to stay. Ah, the first few enemies are here. At last, they've come. I'll send them back to where they came from. Well, there's a little bit of blood, but not much gore. Wait, here comes a lot more. As the enemies are killed hitting the ground with a thud, I can go sliding through all of their blood. That was okay. A little satisfying at first. But just wait till I pick up some weapons to fulfill the bloodthirst. Oh, this guy has an axe. This will make the fights faster, to the max. You're blowing it. Shut up, git. Alright, how do you pick up this thing? I need to know, a fight is happening! Well, knowing the square or X button would have been good to know. All the enemies are dead. Guess it's time to go. So these are the waterfall graphics. It seems kind of a miss. I couldn't imagine what it would be like for them to take a piss. Wow, when you cut up an enemy it shows them up close being mutilated. Looks like a great way for them to be executed. 
I've just about said all of what this game is about, because here's where things start to go south. This is basically what most of the game is, just a bunch of repetitive battles. Can we get this over with? Not to mention, the controls are a little bad, though they are a little unique, so that makes me glad. The only thing different from the rest of the game is that there's the occasional boss battle to keep all the levels from being the same. You fight this giant beaver boss, and then there are a couple more levels that you have to get across. Once you get past them, you'll have to fight it again, but this game is only about to begin. The levels change a little bit later on, but I didn't get it all recorded because playing the later levels feels like they go on and 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 on. This game is extremely repetitive, and because it's repetitive, it's very repetitive. Wait, what? I just can't get through the rest of it, because this game is just a big pile of crap. Alright, I'm done with this rhyming stuff. I can't do it anymore. I'm done. Fairy Tale Fights gets a 48 out of 100. Ah, oh, so you decided to change the review system after all. I never said I wasn't going to. Is it going to be that way for the next season? Most likely, it's easier that way. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. You guys need to use the PC term or else I'll have to... Happy, Happy freaking, freaking Holidays! holidays.